to come on, but here they come. Halfway in SRC Season 2, it's the Belgian Grand Prix for Round 9. We're underway, and Ron Hart converts well from the front row of the grid. He takes the lead into La Source with the two Suzu Renaults right behind him. Felipe and Ewan battling it out with Leopard, who's trying to get into third position. They go side by side out of the corner, and the Team WR driver gets into third place. Further back, it's side by side through Eau Rouge already. Linus and Hawk battling all the way up the hill. And now Syrah is going to want to get on in on this party and try and take seventh place away from Hawk. But it doesn't look like anybody's going to be able to do anything down into Lecom. Although around the outside goes Ewan going for a move for third place. Leopard holds him off for now, though. He retains third place behind Felipe and Ronha, who are one Lightly. and two by Syrah, who now has a bit of a gap to close to Linus, because there was a car filling that gap a moment ago, but uh, obviously not anymore. Ron Hall then loses the lead to Felipe, as those guys exchange positions here on lap five, but a very important moment behind, because Jazu Ewan has got the first three-second time penalty of the day. Hawk was just in front of Syrah before. Where is he going to be with regards to Ewan? Not that much closer, if we're honest. He's actually behind Syrah. So Syrah has actually overcut Hawk there, but they're going to go side by side. Oh, towards Eau Rouge. That was very close. The big squeeze from Syrah was put onto the house driver. Now, as we go up towards Lecom, it's going to be the DRS now for uh, Hawk. He's going to get to the inside of Syrah. And it looks like it's going to be a fairly easy move, but it's going to have cost them time. It's going to cost them even more time uh, no, here. Uh, undercut made by, by Linus, um, as now we're watching Viper, who is trying to go down the inside into the bus stop chicane. Now has to go around the outside there. On Who is that? That's Burps, and Burps doing a phenomenal job there defending, as uh, the teammate of Burps, um, Connor, just dived into the pit lane. Um, yeah, and side-by-side -side action between... Who, who's that? That's Kowalski. Oh. Yeah. And, and Syrah comes up on the outside. He's got a head of steam as well. He might try and take two here. Going down the inside to Lecom. Is he going to go for this on Leopard? Oh, he does, but he goes around. Oh, sarah has gone around at Lecom. He should reverse it out of the way. This is going to cost him even more time than the battle would have. He's going to drop all the way down. There is a now. fight going on between uh, Philippe, Ben, and Ewan as well. Uh, ben is just trying to to do everything he can, also for his teammate, of course, um, who is, yeah, behind, two seconds behind, can't do anything about that, um, as now also Ronha is coming into the pits. Uh, let's let's wait and see what where everyone ca uh, will come out. Um, track is, let me oh, just quickly oh, have a look. Sorry, big moment there. Felipe has just gone into the back of Matt GW, I believe, and he's got front wing damage, has it? Yes, he has. On the right-hand side end plate, he's got damage. Side by side up in front, though, between Ron Hoar and Ewan. And Ewan's taken the race lead from fourth place before the pit stops. It looks like he's going to take the net race lead. They go free wide towards Lecom at the moment. Matt GW on the outside trying to not get involved in this. Ron Hoar wants his lead back, and he does. He gets it. Round the outside. Um, as there's a move going on for between Viper and, and Burbs at the front, as now Leopard is trying to go around the outside there of Matt, doing a better job than Felipe did early on. Uh, in uh, no safety car or anything like that for that particular incident. Further up the order, Kowalski, it goes to the outside of Burbs, and there's an awful lot of battling going up in this front group. You can tell because it, Oxtez is going continually further away from everybody. Burbs goes out very wide. He's pushed out wide by Kowalski and Peasty now goes through. Late defence as well. Lily tries to go to the outside now and he's going to try and make this work. Actually done pretty well there. Got the traction off the corner. That's a pretty good move. Very, very close to the Hungarian and he's surely going to be getting through. But he's about to hit 0% ERS, which is uh, by any stretch of the imagination not good. He's got the DRS though and that will help him get into fourth place. He's decided Those he's not going to make it to the rain uh, uh, with no stops. So he's decided to make it as fast as possible with one. Kowalski gets through into third place ahead of Viper as Ron Hall gets easily through on Burraps into seventh at the back place. of him for TSR. Jonas is up in second and Marvin trying to get himself at least inside the top 10 right now. He's got himself into 11th at the very least and it could be a little I mean, bit more late. For the moment, it doesn't look like it. Uh, but I mean, we saw how quickly it can change. It was, um, it was very, very, um, yeah, very very sunny in qualifying at the start is now Ron Hart going past PC there um, it was very very um, very very sunny at the start of the qualifying and then um, maybe with Jonas although as I say that the clouds do start to appear ever so slightly uh, what, so the, maybe... what the rain or what the weather is saying 
So it's air temperature lost 18 to 17 and track temperature lost 27 to 26. Example, uh, who uh, was just behind Kowalski and or just between Kowalski and Viper. As now there's a move from Oxtes on Leopard going down the inside there. Um, through Blanchimont, and that's a pretty oh, easy move. Just but in front. I don't actually know what happened there either, oh. but um, you, Sorry. very nice. Yeah, Jonas very nice move there by Jonas. Yeah. Oh, and the and there's been a puncture. There's been a puncture for Kowalski. Big moment in this championship as BRL are going to lose points today. Probably to sink and definitely to some of the others. He's trying to get out of the way of everybody, but his so rear right. got a puncture on the front left this time. It's going to be a little bit easier to control than Kowalski's was, but he is all but out of this race. Oh, Ewan's going to be slowed down massively, and it's going to help out Oxtez. So a bit of teamwork going on there for Sink. Viper is not going to have a good race here because of this, but he is going to be able to help out his teammate and does exactly that. Oxtez gets through, and he's got no penalties right now. So even if he doesn't overtake you, and then he might. I don't know. I don't think so. Um, I think it was just like Viper not being able to control the car to to what he wanted to have, or what he would have wanted to. Sent on his rear left tire, so that's not comfortable for him either. He gets overtaken now by Leopard, and Jonas is not too far behind. Marvin gets through on Linus. Things all starting to come together for TSR here in the final few moments of this race as things fall apart for the championship leaders, BRL, with both Syrah and Kowalski outside of the top 10 here. Hawk really struggling now, and Jonas is going to get through here very soon, but they're all four-wheel drifting through the corners. It's very difficult to control. Down the inside, he goes at Puon. This is risky, but he's considered it a wish worth taking. He gets through, but he gets a penalty. He gets a penalty for making that overtake. And he might have got through on you, and if he didn't get that, but now that he has, surely he's going to remain in fifth position after all of this. Most people have managed to get a penalty in this race, it seems. But further up front, with a seven and a half second lead, FRA Ronha might be about to take his first ever SRC victory because he has just monstered the field today, played it to absolute perfection, and so nobody's going to deny him. He comes over the line now to win. The Belgian Grand Prix, round nine of SLC in season two. Oxtens is going to come home in a great drive to get home to P2. And then it's going to be Ewan who's going to be demoted from third to fourth because Leopard takes third place on penalties. Jonas takes fifth place ahead of Hawk, who makes it on tyres just about with 82%. Then Marvin in seventh, Linus in eighth, Rhombus in ninth, and PST recovers just about to tenth. But what a crazy race that was. Bizarre in many, many ways. And the promised rain didn't really come until the very, in, well, it was, until it was too late. Yeah, phenomenal race. Uh, I mean, Belgium always, always delivers. And there's still some fights going on at the back. I mean, Agonized just tried to make it through there on mat. And yeah, got that position in the end by pen on penalties. Philippe will be limping home for 16th position. He was looking yeah uh, one of the drivers to actually make it um or to actually challenge for the victory here today um ronha was doing a stellar job um everyone in chat in chat is is congratulating him and also for a second reason because he also got driver of the day Ewan. so um not only tw uh, 30 points to his to his tally not only his tally but also his team's tally um but um also getting driver of the day uh, in today's race uh, from Ronha, um, Ox is finishing P2, Leopard P3, and uh, I think Kowalski is just retiring in the pit, uh, in, a, in, a, in the pits there. Yeah, um, yeah. So, yeah, very, very up and down um, with with everyone. I mean, Kowalski was looking very, very strong in the midst of this of this race, and if the rain would have hit, he would have been there. Um, yeah, getting the puncture, not what you want to see. Uh, Philippe as well, getting that, that wing damage um, certainly doesn't help around this track. So, um, yeah, but congratulations to Ronha, first of all. One more thing as well here, Miles, before we hand it back to Hyper here for a, a short post-race uh, thing. Uh, we, I think it's fair to say that we have five teams really in contention for SRC here in Season 2. We've got BRL, Sync, Shazoo, TSR and WR. Now, none of the teams I just mentioned have two cars inside of the top 10, apart from TSR, who were both kind of you know mid to low top 10, so they didn't have a great race. What I'm saying is, none of the top teams actually had the perfect race today.